What's up guys, so in this video we're going to be going over how you trade with the institutions and banks, how to be on the right side of the trade, and how to stop doing breakout trading, and really what you should be doing, showing you my exact stop hunt reversal strategy. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at the Boeing chart on an hourly chart here. Okay, we're going to go in on the one hour, show you exactly what's going on. Now typically, a very, very big retail strategy is trading breakouts, right? A lot of times you'll see price moves up. We have that classic bull flag, price consolidates, and we get that move higher, okay? Very, very classic. Everyone always knows this trade. Very simple where you just get in at the breakout, stop below the low, and target up there at the high for a good risk reward, okay? Very simple, very obvious trade. Now, why do I do the opposite of this, okay? Typically, now... Breakouts don't always work, right? Most of the time, I'd say they don't, right? Now, this this video is not to go over and tell you to stop trading breakouts and tell you that they don't always work, right? Because they do work, right? Here, you can see we have big breakouts here. We have breakouts to the downside, breakouts everywhere, right? They're happening all the time. However, I'm go I want to show you exactly what is actually happening when failed breakouts occur and how you can take advantage of that. So if you get stopped out on a trade, you can still make money going in the opposite direction. Now let me explain exactly what that means, okay? So if we go here on a 30 minute chart or hourly chart, we can see price on Boeing. Price comes up, you know, we hold this consolidation phase right here, you know, call it another bull flag, call it whatever you want. Price comes up, we hit this 219, we break out of this high here, and we end up coming back all the way down to this 204 level. Now. A lot of people, a lot of retail traders went long on this breakout here. You can see how much increased volume we have. Price is breaking out of this bull flag, you know, hitting new highs um, on the year. You know, very classic strategy where a lot of retail traders are going to be looking to get long. And what ended up happening is price ended up rejecting and came all the way back down to this 205 area. Okay. So what do we actually want to do in this situation? Now, Personally, how I like to trade, I like trading reversals, okay? Breakouts are not typically my thing. And when it comes to reversals, the best type of reversals are ones that are false breakouts because they are actually stop hunts, right? So what I mean is when traders see this, you're also going to have shorts, right? You have buyers and you have people who are shorting the market. And everyone who's short here, they typically have their stop right above this high here. And so what happens is when price gets above this high, Right. In order for them to get out of that short position when their stop is hit, they need to buy shares to cover their shorts. So that's going to drive the price even higher, right? So while this price is moving up, people are buying shares, right? Not only are they buying the breakout, you have your classic retail traders buying the breakout here, but you also have people who are in short that are getting stopped out and to cover their shorts, they need to buy more shares. So you have a ton of buying going on here, right? So when you see a ton of buying, but then price immediately just dips down and there's no follow through. That means there's somebody out there. There's a bank, an institution, there's multiple funds, whatever it is. And what they're doing is they're taking in all that liquidity into a huge short position, right? So the banks, the institutions, the one who have, you know, millions of dollars they're trading with on this move here, this huge breakout, they're getting in short here and they're getting filled using the stops that the other traders were short here and using the retail longs, right? I know it's a little bit complicated, but let me show you a few more examples. So what happens is price comes up, institutions and banks are getting filled short here. And when price comes all the way down here, that's when they're getting out long. So everyone who bought here ends up, you know, when they see that immediate reversal, they're like, crap, I got to get out. So they start selling, driving the price even lower. And when they start selling, they, got, they start getting stop hunted as well. They put their, you know, they put their stops below these support levels and then price goes down. And when they get stopped out, the big banks are getting filled on their covers down here from their short setup all the way up here. And that's essentially what's happening, right? You see this all the time. The same exact thing happened, you know, about two weeks later on the same stock with Boeing, right? Price comes up, another breakout. Everyone's looking to get long. Look at all the volume, tons of volume. People who were short here, you know, retail traders put their stops above here. They get stopped out. Retail traders are the ones buying this move up. When they get when they get bought up, price comes back down because there's a hint, there's an institution, there's a hedge fund, whatever it is. Multiple guys are out here and they're shorting the crap out of this high here. They're shorting it. They're not letting price go any higher. Price comes back down. Everyone needs to sell out of their longs. 
and they're covering down here when price moves lower. Okay, and that's essentially what's happening. It's just the auction. It's just what's going on, right? That's just how markets are moved. They're just taking out stops and taking out stops in the other direction as well, right? Up here, then down here. It's the same thing that happens. All right, so let me show you a few more examples and then show you how I take advantage of this actual trade. So TWLO, same exact thing. We can go here, right? Price comes down. This is what you know. a lot of people will say is like the cup and handle pattern, right? We have our down, we have our cup right here. You know, we have the handle, price is going up. We're about to see this breakout of this high up at $78. What happens? Price comes up. We barely get above it and then immediately reverse. When you see that happen, you know institutions are shorting this. Price comes all the way down. We know we have bad earnings and institutions are the ones buying it all the way down here. Okay. Now, obviously, you don't want to be in the wrong direction here when you're trading. You don't want to be buying the breakouts here. Um, so how do we know when we're wrong? Okay. How do we know? Okay, let's say we get in the breakout and we're wrong. We see price immediately reverses. Now what do I do? So I'm going to go back to that Boeing example, show you exactly what to do. So I use the strategy in combination with supply and demand. Okay, supply and demand is a strategy that I mainly use for my trading. I've made tons of other videos on them. Go ahead and check them out after this video. But for now, when we know that price is moving up and demand zones are being formed, buyers are in control. And how do we know that sellers are in control? Okay, we know that sellers are going to be in control when supply is able to take out demand. Okay, and I take out means get below demands, right? So we can see here, price comes up. We have a demand zone form right here. So we get the false breakout above the high, or you can call it the stop hunt. Price comes back down. We hit demand, pull back a little bit, and we end up breaking demand here on this candle. Once you see that demand breaks and we have the breakout, the false breakout above that high, we see that stop hunt. That's when you know you should be getting in short and taking advantage of that move, right? So as soon as price breaks this low, you could easily hop in short right here, you know, put a stop above this recent high here, and then target all the way down at this support level, the support level, nice 1.7 R trade, right? Or even a one to one R trade, depending on when you get out, right? Very, very simple setup you can do. Same exact thing happens here, right? Price breaks out, we immediately reverse, okay? Now we don't wanna hop in short immediately after price reverses, because there's no confirmation that price is going to continue going lower, okay? Back to what I said earlier, you know, breakouts do happen. I'm not here to tell you that every single breakout you see is going to be a false breakout, okay? They're going to happen, they're going to occur. However, if you're able to zoom in on a smaller time frame, you find your smaller time frame demand zones, and you see that price finally breaks that demand zone, that's when you know sellers are in control, and it's actually a stop hunt, not a real breakout. And that's when you're able to say, okay, now is my time to finally get in short, go the other side and target, you know, this support down here. Same exact setup, right? So something you could have done in this trade with Boeing, even if I zoom in a little bit more, you know, price comes up, draw this in here, comes up, we form demand, make another high, form low, another high, then we break that low, right? So what happens here is we get that change in trend, right? This is exactly what this price action is here. And when we see this move get lower, this low gets taken out, that's when we know sellers are now in control. So if we look here, I can draw my demand zone here. We have another demand zone form after we bounce off of this one, hit supply. We come down, we break, okay? Once we break that demand, now we know sellers are in control, right? We know that this high right here should hold because this high was able to take out this low here. When you see that, you say, okay, I can either get in right as we break that demand, not the best risk reward, or you can wait for a pullback to this supply, right? Now we never really hit that supply. We came pretty close to it, but let's just say you got in right at the break of that demand, right? So you get in short, you either buy puts, maybe do a credit spread, whatever your strategy is. So you get in right around there, your stop goes above this high, your target can be multiple levels, right? You can target this low down here, the support level, that's liquidity for about one to one our trade. And you can come down and take out these lows down here for about a two R trade, right? Very, very solid setup. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more example here on Workday. So you can see, again, classic breakout over a high, price comes up, comes down, comes back up to that high. We have a double top, very classic, you know, breakout over the high uh, strategy. 
price comes up here, we break the high by about you know a dollar, maybe a point or so, price comes down, we immediately, immediately reverse, and we end up going lower ever since. Okay, and it looks like we're actually setting up the same exact thing here. So looking at Workday, you can see it almost looks like we have this bull flag here, right? So we have this move up like so. Let me draw that in here. Price comes up. We have that classic bull flag pattern. Now everyone's going to be expecting a move like this. Okay, now again, I'm, a, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this isn't going to happen. We're not going to shoot to 208 and higher, right? But what I'm going to say is be careful if we get a false breakout, right? If we get a move like this, price comes back down like this, and we see a breakout. With false breakout, we can't reach 200. We immediately come back down. You bet that price is going to come all the way back down to this 181 low, possibly even lower, right? Because what's happening is everyone's getting long here. They're expecting this breakout, and then... Price false breaks out. All the institutions, all the banks are getting in short. They're getting out of their longs while the breakout is happening, while the retail traders are getting in long as the breakout is happening. And that's essentially what you don't want to do, right? So when that happens, price comes back down. You can wait for price to get back below a demand zone. That's your confirmation to finally hop in short. And when you see that happen, you can ride it down to another liquidity level, a different support level, whatever it is. Uh, in your strategy, okay? Now, Workday right here may not be the best example because there is earnings coming up as I'm making this video. However, it is a good example. As you can see, false breakouts occur. Again, right here, right? Just another one as I'm just going by. Price comes back above this high, right? This demand zone here fails to hold. Come back below this demand, this gap fill. You can hop in short, target down this low here, right? Very simple setup very easy trade to identify. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this will get you on the right side of the market. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please subscribe and leave a like. Uh, also comment down below other videos I should make and I'll go ahead and make them for you. Uh, so that being said, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video.